Hello, my friend and friends. The other day on Blue Sky, I posted this uh, here that was taking a look at this website, which is a cool website where you can choose a hue and it tells you the, the named colors in CSS that match that hue. And I liked it and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to share it. And a lot of people really liked it. It's something I guess people like these name colors is a thing. I'm not the only one. So I'm glad to know that. And while a lot of people liked it, one person replied saying, oh, that's cool. I made a game a while ago where you pick a color based on its CSS name. And I was like, oh, I should do a video playing this game. And so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> we're going to play this game. I haven't played this before. I don't know exactly how it works, but we're going to give it a try and, and see how it goes. Hopefully the content isn't terrible. Some of the names, I, I, I know some of the names really well, but a lot of them I find you wouldn't expect them necessarily. Gold, I don't think, I don't know where gold is. I'm going to say that it's probably something like this. And, ooh, 94% accuracy. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing in here that, that shows us what we would have got or where, what it actually is. I don't feel like looking up all the colors. We're just going to hit play again. 94%, that's going to be pretty, I don't know if I can beat 94%. I'm going to try golden rod now <laughs> is golden rod more gold than gold like a rod of gold <laughs> is a rod of gold more gold we're going to go a little bit more saturated for some reason in a similar area 86 okay that's not terrible 86 seems like a pretty good one dark orchid what would orchid even be purple I'm guessing orchid is purple. That would make sense that it would be in the purples. And dark orchid, dark orchid. Would it be more, I'm gonna go more like this. Sort of purpley into the pinks a little bit. And it's, I don't know how dark, that's a, whenever you throw the dark keywords in these, it makes it really hard. We're gonna try this. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Okay, what is dark orchid then? Let's, can I search this up? Dark orchid. Is that really dark CSS? Dark orchid. Okay, it's like that. What did I put it? I was too dark. The dark, when it, like dark gray is lighter than gray, which is CSS, I guess. I was hoping that dark orchid would actually be dark, but apparently it wasn't. Okay, hot pink. I've used this a lot. I think because of Adam Argyle, who was using it in some demos, and then I stole it and started using it too. I don't know if it's pure pink or not, but I think it's, I might be mixing it up with other ones, but I think it's not fully saturated for some reason. I'm going to tone it down just a bit, but that might be a mistake. The hot pink might be more, or it might be less saturated. Like we might be something like, this is just as saturated actually. I was going darker. It's definitely, I don't know. I'm going to go here. A little bit of a safe one, I think, but it's pretty much in the pure pinks, the hot pink, 75. Not great considering it's a color I've used. Moccasin, moccasin. What would moccasin be? Oh my goodness. Is it brown? I have no idea what moccasin would be. I, I'm gonna guess it's a brown color. I, lit, I have no idea. Whoops. Okay, we have to, okay, let's, we're gonna look this one up too. Uh, CSS. Yeah, that, that was way off. Okay, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't have guessed that color there. Ooh, that was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope we don't do that bad again. Yellow green I have used, but not very often. We have yellow, we have green. So we're just gonna go right in the middle of the two. That would make sense. I'm not gonna go right in the middle because this would be like green. Yellow's here. It's gonna be more here. There is a chartreuse color as well. Probably very similar to yellow green. I don't know if we're going yellow enough. I think it's probably like, I think it's probably pretty yellow. I'm going to go with that one. 80. I'll take it. Can I do it again? We can drag. Oh my goodness. Okay. We could actually figure out what it was. So it was darker. I wish I realized this earlier. Okay. So it was more, where was that? Oh, this way, this way. We're going up. We're going up. It's sort of in this range. Okay. Ah, oh, we can find out what it actually is. Okay. Cool. That makes it easier. Bisque. I have no idea. It doesn't make it easier. I shouldn't say that. It makes it so we can adjust our, our score, or not our score. We can figure things out from there. Bisque, I have no idea. What would bisque be? I don't know what bisque is. Bisque. Hey, just keep thinking biscuit. Bisque. I'm usually pretty good with arbitrary names for colors. Bisque. I can't, I still have biscuit stuck in my head. So I'm thinking it's going to be some sort of beige for some reason. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> the luckiest guess. I have no idea what bisque is. I need to look that up after. Which way was it a bit more? 
we were pretty nailed on. I had like this exactly. I was probably just off slightly on the hue. Yeah, I was off on the hue a little bit. It's more in the reds a little bit, but it looks like I was about as close as I would have got. Yeah, cool. That was a good one. I'm, I'm proud of myself for the arbitrary guess I did on that one. Pale green, I'm gonna go with green and go pale and probably get it way wrong. Is that green enough? I think that looks good. 78, where would pale, yeah, right. Is that pale green? I mean, it's compared to this, I guess it is, right? Because we're coming into, I guess that's pale green. Okay, I was going way too pale. I'll give it that, chocolate. I'm cheating a little bit on this one because if I didn't know any better, I would say like something like this would be chocolate to me. But this is one of the ones I noticed when I was on the Sorted Colors site that like chocolate's like a weird orange color. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, if I was gonna have chosen that, I would have gone way darker. But it's more red even. Like chocolate's oddly really orange. I don't know why. It's not how I would describe chocolate. I'm always curious how they, like I don't know the history of, of how they came up with most of the names. So I'm curious. Steel blue I've used a lot. So steel blue, steel blue would be something like this, right? So light steel blue. We'll try fat. Ooh, ooh, not so hot. Okay, which, where, where is it more in, where's, ha, nothing is light steel blue. Is it more, no, come on. Okay, now I have to look this one up too. That's kind of what I did, wasn't it? I don't have my original guess anymore now though. Feels close to what I originally had. I don't know. Maybe I was too saturated, I don't know. Lavender blush. Okay, this is cheating another one. This is this is one of the ones I picked out. It's super pale pink, like incredibly pale. I love the name of this one um, and wish I could use it more, but it's so pale, I don't know what I would use it for. Yeah, super pale pink. I guess you could do background just for your site to get it away from a pure white, but it's, I don't know if I want to do a pink. Anyway, deep pink. I have no idea. Uh, I'm just going to say that it's there. Because <laughs> E5. Ooh, ooh, okay, so it was this way and then more purple more red i guess that is more pink like this is more magenta and then this is more pink so yeah and then deep pink pretty saturated in this range though okay i wouldn't i get it that's kind of deep it's really vibrant though deep to me would be a little bit darker but yeah okay Ooh, dodger blue uh, this is alex trost's color i'm gonna muck it up if he's watching this i gotta get it i'm gonna spend a bit more time on this one to try and nail it i think it's around here it's a nice color. I've used it because of Alex. Maybe it's a bit dark. I'm going to try that. 91. Okay. Anything over 90 for me is definitely, I think we're, we can consider that a win. Oh, I should have kept the saturation up a little. Oh, even this way a little bit. More in that range. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That looks about, that looks pretty good. And then this way more. Yeah. Right around there. Okay. We were pretty close though. We'll do a couple more. Cadet blue. Pay attention to cadet stuff <laughs> more. I don't know. We'll try this one. I have no idea. Or we go more blue maybe. Maybe it's more of a rich blue. This looks like the royal, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. We'll try, we'll try that. Not so good. So it's, ooh, it's, no, I was right. As far as like the lightness, darkness, I think I was pretty good. It was more the hue that I was off on. I was, 80% <laughs> is here. Another, we're getting to like the nineties over here. I wouldn't have put that as a blue, but okay. I guess, pro yeah, that's blue now. Okay, so that's probably, oh, it's close to here. Okay, just one I wouldn't have got. Snow, it's not gonna be pure white, but it's gotta be really light, right? 97, was it pure white? I should have just left it on pure white. Is it like a white with a tinge of blue in it? No, purple in it. There's a hint of red? I don't know. There's a hint of something in it. Oh, medium slate blue. That did we do a slate blue before? Medium slate, why would you have a slate blue, a medium slate blue, you have a dark slate blue, and you have a light slate blue? I have no idea. Medium slate blue. Slate is kind of grayish, so I'm gonna say it's not fully saturated. Medium means it's not too dark or too light. 80%, uh, 79, I was right about it being more in the grays. So I wasn't too far off on the hue, and then it was more, it was actually more saturated than I expected. I guess it's somewhere in that range. Okay, light goldenrod yellow, another golden one. Light goldenrod, so we had goldenrod. Goldenrod was like pretty golden. Let's try that, I guess, 81%, okay. It was a lot lighter. This is where the like the light keyword for some, some of them mean like super light and other ones mean slightly lighter than the other one. Azure, why do I think Azure is like a teal? I have no idea what Azure is. I'm gonna do like that, not great. 
Not my worst one at least, but it's not great. Azure, let's just see, even. I guess I was kind of right along here. Somewhere, oh, 60, 70. Azure's almost white. I wouldn't have guessed that, okay. Medium slate blue, didn't we do medium slate blue? I think we did. I think I got a repeat and I don't remember where it was. We're gonna try that. I got better this time than I did last time. Dark orchid, so orchid is a purple. Dark orchid would be a dark purple, 66. It's not that dark, apparently. Yeah, around here. Okay, I guess orchid's more here and then it goes to here. Dark goldenrod now, fantastic. We've, we're getting all the goldenrods done. How dark is dark goldenrod? 81%, not bad. Okay, one more. Last one, is it gonna be a fun one? Ghost white, I gotta say that's pure white, right? No, because that's white. What would ghost white be? We're doing like the littlest amount of gray in that. That's pretty much right. And I guess there's probably a slight hint of some hue in there as well. Light steel blue. Steel blue is one I've used. I said one more and now I'm still going. I don't know what light steel blue is though. Ooh, you think I would have been better at that one. Is it? I think my hue is actually pretty good or not. Oh, it's another one where it's like, no, I don't know where light steel blue would be. I have no idea, but we're gonna keep going. Yellow, I think I can get. That's just pure yellow, right? Yes, okay. Snow, close enough. Dark olive green. The olive green ones are kind of like this color, I think. And then dark again, who knows? not bad and snow again dark turquoise okay this will be the real last one is turquoise there or is it more there 25 see this isn't dark why is dark turquoise so bright uh, anyway I, I had some fun with that i'll put a link to this it down in the description below i hope you enjoyed this one too just a bit of a silly video uh that i wasn't planning on this week um, but I figured why not take a stab at it, have some fun with this. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I went on for a little longer than there than I was planning on. But uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you were better than me at this, let me know. <laughs> you can let me know on Blue Sky and play around with it yourself. And again, I'll put a link to this one down in the description as well, because I'm definitely, there's Ghost White right there. But yeah, a fun little game that you can try out if you're a little bit bored instead of watching YouTube videos and not that it's really any more productive, but yeah, there we have it. I'm just rambling at this point. So I just want to say a thank you very much to my enablers of awesome, Andrew, Simon, and Tim, as well as all my other patrons, as well as all my other Andrew, Simon, and Tim, as well as all my other patrons and channel members for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.